ring. 11 wins, two losses. And Bartosz Potwina is making his debut here this evening. Uh, Dragomir is a sensei kid. Petrov, lean and slender, yeah. facing Bartosz Potwina from Poland, who's thick and stocky. Yeah, I don't know Bartosz, of course, and Dragomir, I know, and he's an uh, experienced guy, knows what to do, uh, very careful for his defense, doesn't take uh, so many punches normally. Well, and Petrov, always in superb condition, he's yeah. super fit. Exactly. And 11 wins with just two losses inside the Senshi ring. He's proved his credentials over and over again. Yes, he did. But Bartosz Botwina, five times Polish Muay Thai champion. He's the ISKA K1 world champion. Yeah. And the ISKA is a very, 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 very credible organization indeed. It is. So... But when he's, if he's five times Polish champion, Polish, Poland, Poland is a very big country, and put it like that, but uh, I don't know what it says. I don't know exactly how good he is then. Yeah. So I, I'm, I'm, I wonder what he will do with, uh, with Dragomir, because uh, then he, he has a very good opponent to test himself. No clinch. Push. Push and fight, be careful. Fight. No clinch, no clinch. Break. Fight! Well, Dragomir Petrov is very explosive as Botvina steps in. Yeah. Oh, that was no a clinch. nice that was a nice knee there from Botvina. Sure. Fight! But still Dragomir sets sets the pace. He's Push the one and fight. who's coming forward. Nice. He, he reacts right away the moment that Bartos comes forward. Yep. Dragomi reacts with with any anything. So it is very difficult for Bartos to to do what he has to do. And it's interesting what you said there that uh, uh, Dragomi Petrov is setting the pace. Yeah. If you can set yeah. the pace yeah. and your fighter, your opponent is fighting at a pace that he's not accustomed to, mm -hmm. that can really upset his cardio. Exactly. So now I don't know Bartos, so maybe he's Time. used to it or because he's, it was, the, the round was quite even. Although I think that Dragomir was a little bit more aggressive. Yep, yep. But um, um, if I was his coach, I would tell him to Try to put more pressure. Who Bartos? For Bartos, yeah. Dragomir, uh, yeah, he should go on the same way. He uh, he uh, he could maybe even put a little bit more pressure. And and uh, I mean, uh, I haven't seen anything stable yet. Hard punch or something, or you know, something significant uh, of which I can say, oh yeah. But he if you definitely the, the man in, in this fight. But if you look, if you look at Botvina mm -hmm. from Poland, mm -hmm. the stockier, thicker, thicker set. Yeah. Would you assume that he's got more power? Well, yeah, I, I would. I would assume he what? Look at his legs. Time. Look at his legs. Look at his upper body. He looks very strong. But does that say everything? No. No. <laughs> yeah. Nice right hand there from Botvina as he stepped in. Oh. Good front kick from Petrov. Fight, fight, fight. Nice. Well, Petrov's corner there telling him to move forward. Go, 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 go. Yeah, but he should, uh, in my opinion, he, he should do more with, with his quality. He he should uh, 
follow up his punches and with kicks and, and, and those kind of things, and he doesn't do that. He goes too close, he, he grabs. And it frustrates me oh. to, to see that uh, kickboxers are at this level, yeah. and they're fantastically skilled fighters, don't yeah. get me wrong, yeah. but they can still polish their work by throwing that low kick on the end of a combination. For example, but not even only the low kick, they also can make a high kick or a knee, doesn't, doesn't really matter. But uh, they forget it many times. It was a good high kick, but Bartos, who misses his low kick, yeah, it's, it's inside low kick, it's so dangerous to do that. If you would fight with me anyway. <laughs> yeah, because it's, I think we, we, we talked about it before, uh, inside low kick, especially when you're southpaw, um, it's, it's easy for your opponent to give a right, because most of the time you drop the left hand also. But here, as they push you, what? <coughs> okay. No, no, it wasn't a great example. I was going to say, even as they push away, you could bang, throw, throw that low kick. But mm -hmm. it should be set up. Yeah. Th throwing kicks yeah. as a single combination. Yeah. Yeah, it can be good, but uh, I mean, maybe at the end of the, at the in the last round, I can understand. Maybe you get a little bit tired. You, yeah, yeah. you don't want to make the high kicks anymore. Then I can understand that. Ah, good move from Bartos. Don't know if it scores points for him, but putting your opponent down is always good. But now he doesn't follow up. He waits. He, he clinches instead of instead of uh, trying to go forward. Nice knee in the direction of the head. I don't know if you hit it. Well, spinning back fist there at the end of the round there from Petrov. And I would say, well, I would have given that first round to uh, Dragomir Petrov yeah. from Bulgaria, but I'll give that second round to Botvina from Poland. I'm not sure. Uh, could be. But they both work. That I, I would, I would give it a draw. I would give it a draw. Wow! Well, uh, I don't uh, like those. I don't like this draw. <laughs> there must be something to separate. Yeah, you them. are. You are right about that. You are right about that. If you compare it with the first round, he did much better. But I'm not sure if it if it was enough to win the round. But uh, I would look at the knees mm -hmm. to the body. Yes. That Botvina landed. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, like you said, that takedown, uh, or when he when he put uh, Petrov to the canvas, mm -hmm. is not necessarily something that's a scoring technique, but no. but maybe it looks dominant in the yeah. judges' eyes. Yeah, it might. But if that's the only thing, I think it's not a, it's not enough. So I think I think he's behind on points. So he has to show himself. He looked very strong, composed. He should make. He should put more, more, more pressure. Well, you don't want to but leave it to the judges. Exactly. In, in anyone else's country, anyway. Exactly. And um, the the fact that he he makes a move and he tries to to grab his opponent instead of trying to punch him, I don't understand. Why does he Why does he grab his opponent? That's, that's not in in your in your favor. That was nice. Yeah. Uh, it's, for, it's clear that Petrov is the better fighter, but that doesn't say the, the better fighter always win. See, Botvina, every time he grabs, instead of he, instead, instead yeah, of, of trying to, to do something, closes. counter or something, yeah. he, he grabs. The distance closes and he's not fighting inside. No, and he doesn't counter. He gets a left kick. He can. He get. He gets a right kick. Sorry, and then he can counter with the left straight or something. But he doesn't do that. He waits. He waits. He waits. He waits. He waits, and then nothing happens. And and sometimes it was nice. It's nice, but it will not make him win the fight. 
well, and you feel actually Petrov could could change up one more gear. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Maybe it's uh, experience. I don't know um, what Vina's uh, experience, but I should uh, I should try to put more pressure in. I don't know what his his corner says. But if I was a scorer, I would say go forward, go forward. You have only one minute left. You have to go now. But he keeps on, and he looks so strong. But he keeps on fighting backwards, backwards, backwards. Although, when you look at this fight, the work rate is absolutely pretty high. Yeah, for sure, I, I agree. But There's this, this was a again. nice move. But that's what I don't understand. He makes a good move, ends with the knee, and then he steps back. Why do you step back? Stay there and, and, and make the fight. Oh, that was a nice left hand there from Rook, Petrov. For sure. And Petrov seems to be getting stronger as the fight progresses. Yeah. Yeah. Last 10 seconds. Petrov firing on all pistons here. Uh, uh, nice body shot. Oh, lovely punches. Yeah. Okay. The end of the fight. Well, that was a great performance yeah. towards the end of the third round yeah. from Dragomir Petrov. For sure. I must say it is absolutely a pleasure watching the professional fighters perform at this high level. What an exciting fight. Some fights, they just deserve to have more rounds. Let me introduce you to Andy Sauer as our special awards presentation. Well, for me, I think it's pretty clear. Ernesto Dragomir Petrov got that fight at least two rounds to one. Yeah, for Possibly sure. all three on the, some judges' scorecards. Yeah. A cracking fight, at a very, very high work rate. Yeah. And we sit here and probably pick holes in their technique. Yeah. But once you're inside the ring, it's a very, very difficult game to play. <laughs> it's a different business. Yeah. Yeah. Judge one. 30 to 28 in favor of the blue corner. Judge two. 30 to 27. Judge three, 30 to 27. Well, unanimous in favor decision. Of the blue corner. Dragomir. Petro. There we have it. Dragomir. I'm not sure if I would have given 30 27, but he clearly won in my in my opinion. Yeah. 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 A clear winner. Yeah. Possibly. Ooh. Are you okay? Are you good? Yeah, yeah. Possibly. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah. Well, possibly one round. Went to Botvina from Poland, and making his debut here at Senchi. A credible performance. But Dragomir Petrov now leaves us with 12 wins and just two losses inside the Senchi ring. And I'm certain we will see him back in the future. And. Let's not forget, uh, Ernesto, yeah. that Dragomir Petrov is the Senchi European champion at under 70 kilograms. Mm -hmm. The belt wasn't on the line for that particular contest. No. But that just shows the credibility of this guy. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But I will say it once again, he could have stepped up a gear.